What's up, YouTube? We back for another video. Uh, today, I'm gonna be giving y'all the top apps that I use for my clothing brand mockups, or just any design, really. Uh, I do a lot of graphic design on my iPad, so I just thought everybody that's creating a brand is gonna need this, or it's gonna be helpful for them. I don't know, you might already know about these apps, you might not, but yeah, stay tuned. Before we get into the video, yes, I cut my hair. It's not AI, I really cut my hair. I don't know, bro, I just got tired of it, but yeah, let's move on. So for the first app, this is more of like a creative, like if you know how to draw with the Apple Pencil or whatever. This is Procreate. Procreate costs, I don't know how much it costs though, I did buy it probably last year or whenever I got this iPad, I don't know. This was a minute ago, but yeah, I'm going to find a price if I can for y'all and put it on the screen. That's if y'all want to pay for it, but I got some free ones coming next. Just hold on. Yeah, Procreate, like I said, if you're good with the pencil and you know how to actually draw and you like to like hand draw your mock-ups or whatever, you just download templates. This would be a fire app for that. Like if you got a lot of uh, things you want to scan in or just and trace over, this would be good for it. Yeah, I did. I mean, I did a couple things on Procreate, but I feel like I just got it because of the hype. I heard a lot of people talking about the app and everything, and I just went ahead and bought it. So, yeah, I don't really use it as much, but I feel like it's like down the line, it's going to be real beneficial for me. So, yeah, keep that one in mind, Procreate. Uh, Let's go to the next app. For the next app, we got Fonto. This is the app I've been using for years, like to make really is really for fonts basically what it's saying it's for fonts uh, I use this to download any font you can go download the font on like any free font websites or whatever I don't know if they actually free but you didn't hear that from me Fonto is in the app stores for iPad and iPhone so whatever device you got I'm sure it'll be on there uh, yeah they got fire fonts on there already like pre-saved on there but you can go download your own whatever if you made some import those from photoshop it's real easy to do that just watch a video on it i can't explain it in this video but yeah easy yeah that's another way you can make just like you can make content for your social media your all that all that everything except tiktok because it's gone rp but yeah, this is a fire app. This is one I've been using mainly because you can curve the text, you can blend it, you can you can do you can do hella shit on this app. So Fonto is fire and it's free. They do got hella ads though, so that's the only irritating part. You go and get a lot of pop up ads when you on this, <laughs> but just, just just lock in. But yeah, okay. This the main one. This is my. This is my top app right here. I use Bazaar all the time. Y'all need to sponsor me. I don't even know if I'm saying it right, but yeah, I got, like, I've been working, y'all. Other stuff saved here on Bazaar. It's just, this is an app really for graphic design all around. You can do whatever on here if you want. Make text, pictures, mockups, everything imported. I, I got a couple mockup websites I could put in the description for y'all, like the ones that I use. I really don't use a lot of them anymore. I use like the same, the same few over. I drop those in there too for y'all. Uh, no need to gatekeep. Uh, let me see what else. What else? What else? I got on here. Oh yeah, I also make my thumbnails on here too. Well. Here and have a Photoshop. I do have Photoshop on here. That's another one we can just go to next. Photoshop, I know everybody know about Photoshop, but you have to pay for it monthly or you could pay yearly, I think. I don't know. I'm not paying yearly for it. Even though I should because I use it a lot, but nah, can't do it. But I'm not going to lie because some months I don't really use it, but I know having this brand and everything, I'm going to have to keep using it. So, Because at my job, we don't pay for it. Well, I don't pay for it. But, yeah. On my personal, like, home computer and stuff, I don't have Photoshop on it. I only have it on my iPad. So, I just make thumbnails on it. Like, literally all the last thumbnails have been made on here. But, 
Yeah, everybody know about Photoshop. If you don't or watch a Photoshop video on it, you can do everything on there. Literally. I think that's it, honestly, for what I personally use. But I'm going to try to find another app for y'all. Uh, let me see. Well, it's not downloading on my iPad. It's still re-downloading, but I'm going to just show y'all what it looks like. We got Super Impulse X. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. But, yeah, this is the last app right here. I don't know if it's focusing. You see that? Yeah, this app fire right here. Uh, it's like it's like a mini Photoshop. It do basically everything in Photoshop do with all the layers and everything. This will really help you if you want to get in detail with your mockups or just any brand and for your content, promotions, all that. I feel like this is a fire app too. And it's like, like I said, yeah, cheap. A Photoshop alternative for if you don't want to keep paying for it because you just pay for it once. I don't remember how much it was, but if I find it, I'll put it on the screen. I already purchased it so I don't see the price on here no more but yeah I don't know if they increased it or whatever but yeah I just know you pay for it once and you got all the features forever because I had bought this in like 2019 when I first really start like editing my thumbnails really trying to get clicks <laughs> but yeah that was one of them I don't use it no more like I said it wasn't even downloaded I had to re-download it but yeah that's a good starter app if you want to even for YouTube if you want to do that, fire app. All right, man, that was it for the video. I'm about to get out of here. I just wanted to check in with y'all. I ain't dropping a minute. I actually been sick, like for real. Been in the bed for like the whole week. Ain't even been to work, but I'm back grinding. Uh, still waiting on my stuff to come in for the brand. Stay patient for that unboxing. It's coming soon. Not unboxing, haul. I'm tripping. Stay tuned for the haul. It's coming soon. And yeah, more details about the brand coming soon too. Because it's, it's getting closer and closer to the time I want to drop. But it's just, I got to have all this in order before I drop. It's just stressful. I got to get photo shoots done. All type of shit. So yeah, just make sure y'all stay tapped in. The subscribers have been going up. So if y'all are new. Welcome to the channel, uh, everybody who been returning. I appreciate the love y'all been showing. Did take like a week off, but we back. Like I said, uh, I don't know when it's gonna be posted. I'm gonna try to upload it as soon as possible. But this is like literally midnight on I would say July. That was just a quick video for y'all. Uh, make sure y'all tap in, subscribe, hit the bell, all that. And yeah, we gone. Shit, I ain't about nothing. I can't count up if I'm running different levels.